I think bandanas are the perfect amigurumi accent. Hey guys, it's Katie from Yarn Society with a crochet amigurumi tutorial for this adorable little bandana. You can customize this bandana in any color, any size yarn for any size amigurumi, and I'm gonna show you how. To get started on this crocheted bandana, we are going to grab some supplies. So we're gonna grab some yarn. I like to use the yarn that I made my amigurumi in. So in my case, it's Comfy Worsted Yarn by Knit Picks, but if you made your ami in a DK or even a bulky weight yarn, use that size yarn that you used. We're gonna grab some scissors. We're gonna grab a hook that you use to make your amigurumi, and in my case, it's a size E. You can either use the exact hook size that you use to make your amigurumi or use one right around there. We are gonna grab a yarn needle, an optional stitch marker, and then you're gonna grab the amigurumi that you're making the bandana for. And here's my little friend, Briggs the Bear, and he's gonna be my model today. We're gonna to get started with a slip knot and chain, and if you're just learning these techniques, I'll link my slower video down below. We're gonna start out by making a slip knot. So I'm gonna leave a long tail. I'm gonna wrap that yarn around two fingers, crisscrossing at the top. I'm gonna to push that back piece to the front and then pull up on that piece to make a loop. You can adjust your tail, insert your hook, and then get set up with your work. We are going to start out by chaining three. Yarn over, pull through, chain one, yarn over, pull through two, and three. We have three chains here. We're gonna skip this first stitch and single crochet in that second stitch from the hook. We're gonna make a single crochet in the second stitch, and then we are gonna move over and just go under that top loop of that third stitch and make a single crochet. Now we have two stitches. We're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn our work, and then we're gonna make an increase in both stitches. So I have one and two, I'm gonna make an increase, which means two single crochet into each stitch. So here I'm gonna go under both loops of that first stitch, make single crochet one, go back to the same stitch, single crochet two. Move over into stitch number two and we're gonna make another increase, so add two single crochet. Here we're gonna chain one and turn again, so chain one, turn your work, and now here is our chain. We're not working into our chain. We're just working into these stitches here and I have four. That last stitch can sometimes look a little small depending on how tight you crochet. From here on out, we are going to increase in the first and last stitch and single crochet in the middle stitches. We are going to be increasing in that first stitch so we have two single crochet here. Now if you wanna keep track with the stitch marker, you would stop at that first stitch and add in your stitch marker. And this is helpful if you're just learning. Go ahead and add your second single crochet. Single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Here is single crochet one. Move over, single crochet two. And then this is our last stitch, so we're going to make an increase because we're gonna always increase in the first and the last stitch. I'm gonna chain one and turn my work. And now we're gonna make an increase in our first stitch. Single crochet in the next four. So here's one, two, three, oops, sorry, and four and then we are gonna increase in our last stitch. Okay, I'm gonna tighten up that base here a little bit. And then what you wanna do while you're crocheting is you wanna measure as you go. So I'm gonna grab my amigurumi, and I'm gonna see how this looks, and it's still pretty small, so I'm gonna add on another round, I'm gonna chain one and turn. At this point, we will have eight stitches. Here I'm placing an increase in the first stitch. I'm gonna place my stitch marker. Then I'm gonna add my second single crochet to that stitch to make an increase. Now I'm gonna single crochet down the row and stop at that last stitch. Okay, here is my last stitch. I'm gonna make an increase into this stitch. 
I'm going to chain one and turn and then here we have 10 stitches. Skip that chain and go right into that first stitch to make an increase. Single crochet down the row. Now we've hit our last stitch because our stitch marker is here. I'm just going to take this out and we'll make our increase. I'm going to give this guy another measure because he's not that big. Okay, here. This actually looks good. I usually end my bandanas right past their arm. So this is a good spot for him. Now if you have a bigger amigurumi, just keep going. Just keep adding your increases in the corner and it'll just increase two stitches every time. I am going to fasten off, so I'm going to leave a long piece of yarn. And then I will yarn over and pull through and then just give that a little tug at the end. Go ahead and weave in your end and leave that other piece for attaching. This bandana has more of a rustic look. So if you wanted a more polished one, you could, before you fastened off, continue to go around the edges and add like single crochets or slip stitches to add a little bit more of a polished look. But I really do prefer just this kind of rustic-y look of the bandana. To add the bandana, I'm gonna place it on his neck and then turn him over. Go ahead and grab your yarn needle and we're gonna weave that working yarn through. All I do is just go through a corner stitch and pull through. So I don't like to keep my accessories completely attached. I like to be able to take them off if I want to. So I'll show you that first. I just go through one side of the bandana, center it, and then go through the other side of the corner. I'm going to straighten this out the best I can. Then I like to go through that corner stitch one more time. And I'll take the rest of my tail and just kind of weave it around those pieces, like wrap it around the other pieces so that it can be a removable accessory. If you wanted to keep this in place, what I would suggest when you go to your last stitch, go back through a stitch of the corner of the bandana and go slow and make a loop. And once you have that loop, you want to go behind the loop with your needle so that you can make a knot. So here I'm going behind the loop, I'm making a knot, and then you can weave that yarn through your amigurumi piece. That's it, you guys. I hope you had fun customizing a bandana for your amigurumi. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more tutorials and crochet alongs and head over to yarnsociety.com for free patterns.